Please join me in welcoming to the stage President and CEO of Federal National Commercial Credit and Vice Chair of the Chamber's GovConnet Committee, Quasi Rogers, and the Chamber's Honorary Chair of our GovConnet Procurement Conference and our Federal Champion of the Chamber's Veteran Institute for Procurement, which we affectionately refer to as VIP, please join me in welcoming U.S. Senator-elect Chris Van Hollen. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, I must say, I, I'm very excited to be here. Um, I've been on travel all week, and you know, my wife was a little irritated when I told her I wasn't going to be home tonight. Um, the kids didn't seem to care, but my wife was a little irritated. So I told her, you know, honey, this is very important. You know, I am going to grace the stage uh, with uh, Senator-elect uh, Van Hollen, and I will be the first to grace the stage with him. So they sent me a text. And the text went something like this. The three boys are in the, front, in the front making all types of faces. And my wife is in the background saying, don't mess it up, Daddy. Don't mess it up. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, I am very pleased to be here. Uh, and I agree with all the remarks that preceded. You know, Montgomery County has a very vibrant business community as a business owner. I live and work in Montgomery County. Uh, and uh, I think it's a great place to do business. As a matter of fact, one of the engines of the um, Montgomery County and the regional economy is certainly the government contracting industry. As a matter of fact, uh, Montgomery County is, I'll stop, go ahead and clap, I'll, st I'll stop talking, I promise. <laughs> Montgomery County is ranked number two in the country uh, as far as counties, uh, as far as contracts let to uh, small businesses. So how about a round of applause for that? But the, the reason we're up here today is because we'd like to thank someone who we owe a great deal of gratitude uh, for this accomplishment. Uh, and that man is John Sharaka. Now, you know, my wife tells me that, you know, I'm capable of stretching the truth beyond recognition, but I don't lie. But this is a true story. As I was leaving today, uh, my EA stopped me as she told me that I could not park, I could not valet my car at the hotel. And don't argue with the valets because the chamber has already sent you three emails on this subject that you haven't read, Quasi. <laughs> so after we got that business out of the way, um, she told me that she knew John Sharaka, and he was a great man. Um, he's, he's accomplished some great things for small business and, and for the economy, and for that we thank him. Um, John serves as the Associate Administrator of Government Contracting and Business Development at the United States Small Business Administration. Uh, John's team at the SBA supports thousands of small businesses every year as they compete for over 500 billion in federal prime contracts and billions more in subcontracts. Uh, so now, without further ado, please join me in welcoming to the stage John Sharaka. Good evening, everybody. It is great to be here with Quasi Rogers uh, for this very special uh, presentation to John Sharaka. For those of you uh, who have worked with him, you know he's been a superstar when it comes to our federal employees and public service uh, to our country, uh, to our state, uh, and to our county. Under his leadership, for the first time ever, federal agencies met the contracting goals for small business, for women-owned business owners, and for service-disabled veteran small businesses. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> we, 
we wish him very well uh, as he departs SBA. We're going to miss him, but we know he's going to go on to do great things. So let's thank him for being an extraordinary and dedicated public servant. John, in appreciation of all your work for the small business community, we're going to be presenting you with proclamations and letters of appreciation from the office of Senator Cardin, from offices of John Delaney, myself, and many, many others. Most of all, from everybody here, all the members of the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce, we say to you, thank you. Thank you, John Chiracca. Thank you. Thank you for that very, very kind inter introduction, uh, Senator-elect. Uh, I am humbled. I, I truly, truly am humbled, and I very much appreciate this opportunity to be here with you today. I, I really want to thank Gigi. Uh, I want to thank uh, Barbara Ash. Uh, this is a, uh, I, I, I just don't know what to say. I am I'm truly humbled uh, for this opportunity. Um, I want to thank uh, someone that's in the audience today because she's put up with me uh, for the better part of six years of, as I've done this, uh, and quite frankly, for most of the time that I've known her. Uh, my wife, Kimberly, is out in the audience, and I have to thank her for putting up with me. Um, I do want to say, um, the Senator-elect mentioned a, a lot of successes that we've had. Um, you know, we talk about $90 billion for the first time, 25.75% of contracts getting into the hands of small businesses. I want to say that that is directly a result. Uh, for whatever your politics may be, that is a direct result of the president's uh, hands-on approach in this area. Uh, the president and Valerie Jarrett have, was, were involved from day one in making sure that federal procurement and small business was on the front burner. And so we took that and we ran with it. But it was because of that focus uh, where we were able to get our sister agencies, and I know that a lot of them are here today, we were able to get our sister agencies to carry that mantle and get us to what we've achieved. Um, so I don't, you know, I, I don't want to uh, forget the hard work uh, that our civil servants do day. I'm a political appointee, right? So I, w I will be gone. But I don't want to forget the hard work that our civil service uh, career folks do day in and day out, and oftentimes they don't get the credit for the hard work they do. Um, I know there's a lot of them here today. Uh, we need to recognize the hard work they do. I also want to recognize that uh, it is partners like uh, the Chamber, uh, the Black Chamber, the Hispanic Chamber, the Montgomery County Chamber, all the stakeholders that keep us accountable day in and day out that get us to where we are today. Um, Lastly, I just want to say that I feel confident uh, and I have faith uh, in, in a few things as I, as I move on and, and hand over the keys uh, to the next group. I have faith in our democratic process. I have faith in stakeholders like yourselves in making sure that we're held accountable. And I have faith in the career civil servants that work hard day in and day out to make sure that businesses are served. So again, I, I really want to thank you for this opportunity. Uh, and um, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Thank you. John, congratulations. And thank you for your good words uh, on behalf of your fellow federal employees. I, I want to thank everybody here at the uh, Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce and all the members here. Uh, it's uh, been a great honor uh, to represent uh, you in the House of Representatives. Uh, I'm looking forward, uh, with your help, uh, to working together uh, in the United States uh, Senate. But as I do that, I want to first of all give a big shout out to your fearless leader, Gigi Godwin, who has just done an incredible amount of good work. And I must say, she and Barbara Ash and the entire team, and in fact, all of you, 
have made our job a lot easier in partnering with you. I was very proud to partner with you with the VIP program, which is a program that is now a model across the country, not only for providing help for veteran-owned businesses in our region, but nationally. So people travel from all over the country here uh, because of the work that you did to start that, and I was proud to work with Senator Cardin and others uh, to get funding from the Small Business Administration to really help, uh, take, help that take off. And I want to thank you for your leadership because that was an idea that was hatched here at the Chamber. Second, I have to say it's been a great honor to team up with you every year with the Federal Procurement Conference, the Government Procurement Conference, where we bring in federal agencies, state agencies, and local agencies, and partner with businesses, large, medium, and small, here in Montgomery County to try and provide more opportunity for our businesses. And I want to thank all of you, because you are the job creators. You are the people who are expanding economic opportunity in our community, in our state, in our country, and we thank you for that. We also thank you for supporting many of the federal agencies that are home to Montgomery County and the state and provide large investments. I've always believed that the taxpayer does really well when we have competition from all of you for the goods and services procured by the federal government. As you heard, Montgomery County is number two in the country when it comes to the small business procurement. I believe we're number one when it comes to health IT. So those investments are important for our community and for our country. Finally, let me just say as we look to the next administration, uh, I can say that we're going to look for opportunities to work together wherever possible. I want to say what an honor it's been to work with our terrific county executive, Ike Leggett, here in our community. Thank you for bringing the vitality and dynamism you do. I want to say that our team at the federal level, and I think you heard from my friend and colleague, John Delaney, uh, you may hear later from incoming Congressman Jamie Raskin, but we work as Team Maryland. It was great to hear Ben Wu up here because we want to also work as we have with Governor Hogan when it comes to Team Maryland and we're focused on trying to get those in federal investments and very focused right now on trying to bring the FBI to the state of Maryland, which would be a great boon to all of us. Let me just say, as we look to the incoming federal administration, there may be areas of common ground. We have talked a lot about investment in our infrastructure. We in this area know how important that is. Congestion on I-270, trying to actually do the purple line, trying to make sure we have a metro system that is efficient and modern and grows. We also need to have important investments in our workforce, and I'm proud to announce that today, uh, the Department of Labor said that Montgomery College would receive $5.6 million. Thank you to Montgomery College. $5.6 million dollars for workforce training, especially in IT and cybersecurity. And of course, Maryland is home to the U.S. Cyber Command. It's important for our national security. It's also a great economic opportunity for our businesses, large and small, here in our state. I will just end with this as we look for opportunities to work with the incoming administration. One of the things that has made this community and this county and this state and this country so great is the dynamism and vitality we get from welcoming people of all different backgrounds, all different ethnicities, all different religions, who are determined to contribute to this community and this country, and to make sure that everybody can achieve the American dream. And as I tell you, as we work to make sure that we find areas of common ground, we will also make sure we protect the values that have made this county, this state, and this country great. Let's work together. Let's move this country forward. Thank you to the Montgomery Chamber of Commerce. God bless you all.